It was four mud houses built to accommodate farmers who came for expedition during the colonial days. It is then safe to say that this community has been in existence before the Nigerian independence. Fapume town has been in existence, I would say before the colonial days, before the colonial era. If you look at the, at the intelligence report, Fafumi is there with four houses then. The early settlers of Fafumi town is the father of Fafumi by name Onshile. They originated from Ota. Onshile, the father of Fafumi, eh, came here on hunter expedition before this place was uh, founded. The community uh, development was not in existence then. They all concentrate on farming, on farming. We have all tribes here. Hausa, Yoruba, Igbo, uh, Gambari. Welcome to Fafume Community Development Association in Agbado, Kyoto Local Council Development Area, Southwest Nigeria. Fafumi Road stretched from Ajasa Commands to the Lagos State Housing Estate Scheme, Ipaja. It serves as a link to other communities in the vicinity such as Ifelagba, Odutola, Olakito, and Okeishago, amongst others. In 1997, the community was faced with an enormous challenge of development. A meeting of like minds was held and the resolution was to form an association that will enable the community to have direct access to the government. Hence, Fafumi CDA registered with the old Alimosha local government and later with Agbado Kyodo Local Council Development Area in 2005. The Fafumi CDA was formed precisely in 1997. That is why we celebrated 20 years last year in 2017. The CDA constitution is very precise in guiding us what to do to provide for the welfare of the community. We are expected to partner with the local and state governments in providing amenities for the, our communities. And that's what we have been doing. Having organized themselves for a common course, the leaders thought of what to do before government would intervene. The journey to rebuild Fafumi began. Community members assigned tax to themselves. No one was exempted. The artisans, petty traders, landlords, tenants, and others unite to form a formidable team. We have been trying to do a lot as the CDA uh, committee, especially the, C the chairman. Since when he has been the CDA chairman here, everything has been on well. Since the intervention of our chairman, the area has a new face. Uh, he has fought for us in so many things, including uh, when we had problem with the land sellers. He fought and uh, fought, he got um, up to the Lagos State Government to bring the case to be settled. The effort baited a 500 kVA power transformer with feeder pillar and transformer accessories, 13 high tension pores, 79 low tension pores, installation and construction of transformer substation, 79 street lights across the CDA, construction of culverts and drains in strategic location to channel flood water from Olakito and Odutola communities through Fafumi town to Orelu River, and regular grading of 1.5 kilometer road in the community. Government cannot do it alone. So that is why we are there as a community. For instance, we are talking about electricity. Most of the wiring system, the transformer, the aluminum conductors, the insulators, they were being purchased and installed by the community. This far from our community. And you look at the terrain, you can see that uh, we are having problems with uh, drainages. The roads are bad, so definitely they have to do the culverts on themselves make sure some of the drainage is constructed by them. And these are people that you know, when you look at all the houses we are seeing here, they are not a rich person. 
So from their small, small, petty, petty trade, that is where they can contribute money to make sure they put all these things in place. Uh, you, as you can see also, a small hall has been there, which they are seeing is under construction. So those are part of the things they are doing. And grading also, after rainy season, they still take the pains to do some of the gradings, get laterite and do gradings for themselves. Having expended millions of Naira on community projects, Fafumi Road seems to be caving in. The minerals of erosion on its road has made it not to fulfill the purpose for which it was built. Members of Fafumi community are crying to the general public, non-governmental organizations, private organizations and individuals to help support the government to make the road motorable. This road is a link road that's linked to Aburu, then to Ipaja. And we are facing a lot of challenges through the, uh, the flood, when there is rain, when, when, it is, when it is the rainy season. We cannot move anyhow. We need this road to join our the Ajasa road so that it will even ease the traffic that is on the both side of the road. So we need this road to be put in order, fix it well, so that people can enter this area to and fro because nobody come in, in and out this area. The whole people that have car pack it halfway to their house. Nobody take his car to his house. Fafumi community sloped down to the river. So there's high velocity of erosion affecting the community. That is why between 2010 and sometimes in 2015, no vehicular movement in this community along this Fafumi road. No vehicle that can come in, no even Okada can come in. And this affected the economic activities of people in this community and social uh, exercises. We are begging the well-meaning uh, uh, NGOs, if they can help us, the NGOs, the well-meaning individuals who can come in and help the community out of our predicament. It has been a, an, a, a challenge that it overwhelms us. A little ray of light showed at the end of the tunnel when Fafumi community was adjudged the second best community in the entire Lagos state at the 2017 Community Day. According to them, the recognition means something good is about to happen. The achievement move forward and promote Fafumi town in a long way. Also, make Fafumi town well and more recognized both in local government level and state level. So I am proud of them. Among the CDA in Lagos State, we are the second best CDA. And uh, to be second, mm, second best CDA out of 3,900 CDAs is not a small thing. Well, looking at all this through the camera there and see that these people, they are the core rural area here that can do a little things. I, I really thank him. I will give my own governor 100% when he talks in terms of encouraging community. His administration is one of the best administration that I've ever seen as a community leader that encourage, make sure everything we request for him is being done to us. For instance, you can see more roads have been constructed in Agbadokudu now. And look at the community day. He makes sure it brings it to the grassroots, which I think it has never been like that. So definitely, we are happy and we believe we can still do more to make sure he's also happy. We don't know that the governor can even see us. You know, we look at it that, where are we? Who are us? But we were surprised that the governor can see one small community, four rural community in one corner of Lagos says that they deserve to be given something. So we really appreciate the governor. The people in the community were, were jubilating. They are still jubilating that. Can the governor see us here? They were really happy. And we appreciate the governor for doing that.